Good morning, afternoon, or evening, uh, whatever it is your time zone across the world. Listen, I have um, a message um, to give to the people of God, and it is a message, a scripture, passage of scripture um, that the Lord gave to me, and uh, it's a word of encouragement to you today. Um, listen to what the word of God is saying to his people, and then I'm going to give the message uh, that the Lord has for us and to the enemy. Uh, and this passage of scripture is taken from Psalms 46, Psalms 46. I have been meditating on this scripture for the last uh, week and a half because the Lord came to me and said, Be still and know that I am God. As I had something before him, he was saying, I am that same Jesus is what he told me. And the Lord wants his people to know that he is that same Jesus of the Old and the New Testament. And he is reigning today in heaven and over all the earth, over every principality, over every ruler or darkness, over everything, God is reigning. And his hand is moving throughout the world. So I'm just going to read this passage of scripture and I'm going to talk to you just from the heart, just like the Lord gave to me. Is that all right today? Okay, so we're going to read in Psalms 46. Let us listen to what the word of the Lord says. God is a refuge and strength, a very help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried away into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with swelling, Salah, ah, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just as the break of dawn. The nations rage, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts, he is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So, ah. Come and behold the works of the Lord who made desolations in the earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted above the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts, he is with us. The God of Jacob is a refuge. Hmm. So, ah, let's dwell on that just for a moment. This is the passage of scripture God gave to me. I've had my Bible open to this particular passage of scripture as I was asking God the question. And he said, be still. And he said, know that I am God. And he called me by my heavenly name. And he said, be still and know that I am God. I am that same Jesus. And then as I was meditating on this uh, passage of scripture, the Lord Jesus said, I've given you access. And he said, I've given you access, Cynthia. Uh, then he said, I've given you access. And he called me by my heavenly name. And uh, 
I, I stood up and I began to proclaim the word of God. And I began to take the position that Elijah took. Uh, when the false prophets, they had killed all of the prophets of God and they only had about a hundred left. I took this position uh, that Elijah took when he came out. He came out. God sent him and he came out. And he came out and he had a word. He had a word. He said, go tell your master. And he said that I'm here. And so as uh, he told his master that they had sought to kill him. And uh, there was only a hundred prophets left. Elijah appears because God called him out. And it's this uh, voice that I heard. And uh, he said, I am that same Jesus that worked miracles for Elijah, that performed uh, miracles. I'm that same Jesus that manifested my power uh, over everything. Uh, it is this context when I was seeking the Lord. And he said, be still. And he said, no, that I am God. And the Lord came to me with the word. And this is the word to the enemy. No one chastise God's people but God. You do not chastise God's people for being right because they are not part of your propaganda or your agenda because they are not supporting your cause. God said, you don't chastise my people. I only do that. And then he said, for that, I'm going to give you the word the Lord told me. You got to pay the consequence. You want to chastise my people? You want to oppress my people? You want to belittle my people? You want to make mockery of my people? God said, not so. And he said, be still and know that I am God. The oppression that you sent out, God said it will come back to you. It is flipped. It is reversed. And you can expect it. It's already happening, God said. But God said, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. This is the word of encouragement that I have for the people of God. Take refuge in Jesus. Uh, Jesus' hand is moving throughout all the world. And uh, he's saying, oh yes, he said they want mercy now, but they don't want to give true mercy. This is what the Lord is saying. The enemy wants mercy now, but they don't want to give true mercy. And he's saying that the enemy is exposed. Their plans are exposed. They're just out there, exposed, unmasked, God said. But he spoke to me, and that's the word to the enemy. You don't chastise me, and you don't chastise God's people for telling the truth and for standing up for what's right, for standing up what's right, for proclaiming what's right, for proclaiming the word of God, for speaking the words of God as he has ordained. God said, enough is enough. And that's the word that I have today. The word of encouragement to God's people. You stand up in faith. Be still and see that he is God. And he is moving throughout this world. And he has his hand. And he has commissioned his angels. And I'm in the right position that I'm supposed to be in. And just as Elijah said, you call on your God. And I'm going to call on the God of heaven and over all the earth. The God of Elijah. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. The God of David. The God of Jeremiah. The God of of Moses. Be still.
still, he said, and know that I am God. I am God. He said, I am God. I am God. Can you see me now? Can you see me really now? Be still and know that I am God. This is Lady Cynthia Kelly giving to you what God gave to me. Uh, I'm being still and I'm watching God perform just what he said he was going to do. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see the God in me? Can you see my purpose now? It is greater than myself. It is from God. It is ordained by God. But nobody chastises God's people but God. He's the only one that has that power. And for that, you pay the consequence. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. You be blessed and stay connected to Jesus. Let the love of Jesus rule in your heart and stand up in the faith of Jesus Christ and take authority over the enemy because the word of the Lord said he has given us the keys to the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever we bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven and whatsoever we loose on earth, it will be loosed in heaven. Can you see me now? I'm exercising my kingdom of God rights and I got the right keys. You be blessed.